So what an amazing little beach this is. Oh, this is hard work. So just like in the middle of the sea. <laughs> Good morning from the sleepy little island of Koh Muk here in Thailand. I'm only here for today. It's my only full day here. So I'm gonna do a bit of exploring, find some beaches. Uh, but first I'm hiking up to a viewpoint to get a good view of the surrounding area and yeah, see what it's all about really. So I think it's going to be a, an action packed day. So like I said, I've only got one day. So viewpoint, beaches, lunch, and I think it's going to be a hot one. It's pretty hot now and it's 10 past 10 in the morning. So let's crack on, try and find this viewpoint. Okay, so you have to kind of walk through this resort called Exhale Resort. Um, and you just kind of cut through and then come out onto this path. I assume this is the right way. It's supposed to be about a 45 minute hike. So, we'll see. The time is 20 past 10. So it looks like this is the very beginning of the actual trail. Um, I've got to the point on the map that's um, labelled as Nurse House and there's a sign here. Viewpoint, very beautiful. And also, we have that there saying top. I've been told to look out for all the red arrows. No, not those ones. It's very, very hot and it's just getting very, very steep. We're deep into the jungle now. And I can hear a lot of things scurrying around in the bushes and things. So hopefully they stay in the bushes and don't come out to greet me. Oh, this is hard work and it's so hot. I'm absolutely dripping with sweat. I'm covered, it's pouring out of my body, every inch of it. The only way is up. Okay, so I have made it to what looks like a viewpoint. I'm just not sure if it's the viewpoint. The view is pretty magnificent though, so it could well be. Look at this. I'm not feeling too bad now that I've had a little rest. There are another couple up here with a small child. How they did that, I don't know. One of them must have been carrying him the whole time because he was on his mouth. Uh, they seem to think this was the, the end and the main viewpoint, but there's nothing that says viewpoint. And given the amount of hours that there were on the way here, I can't believe that there's not going to be a sign saying the end, you made a viewpoint or something. So the path does carry on. So I'm going to follow it and see what happens. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like that definitely was the viewpoint because there are no more arrows and we're going down. Um, I was kind of expecting a little bit more from the viewpoint I think but that's maybe just because of the viewpoint hike that I did in uh, Koh Lipe on Koh Adang was absolutely spectacular and that's going to be pretty hard to beat as far as viewpoints go I think um, if you want to watch that video I'll put the link in the description below but for now we will carry on also at this point because I'm going back a different way I have no idea where I'm going or where I'm going to come out so hopefully it's not too far away from where I need to be on the island ah and hopefully it's going to be near a beach 
because I need to swim. I am absolutely soaking with sweat. Right, on with the hike. Right, so it appears I'm now hiking to a beach. I think, I'm not sure whether it's called Sapphire Beach or Sabai Beach. It kind of comes up with both on Google, but it also doesn't show any sand on Google, like it usually does when there's a beach. So it's maybe really small or non-existent. And then I have no idea how I'm gonna get from there back to my hostel or like the main part of the island. I'm currently now in the half of the island that shows on Google Maps is just green. Like it's just this, it's just forest, jungle. So unless I do another trek, which I'm not really feeling at the minute, then I don't know how I'm gonna get back. There might be a boat. There might not be a boat. There might not even be a beach. But the couple with the baby are also heading in this direction. So, uh, have faith. We'll see what happens. Okay, that's a promising sign. I can see light at the end of the tunnel <laughs> and I can hear the waves crashing. Oh, here we go, look. All right, now this is a small secluded beach. I like it. Time for a dip. So hot. This is absolutely beautiful. However, I do not fancy the hike back through the woods. The couple that I met on the hike on the way here with the kid, they spoke to somebody and arranged a boat. So I'm gonna hop on with them, we'll split the costs. So I'm gonna head back into town and get something for lunch. I'm pretty hungry, but this place is amazing. Absolutely amazing. We're on the boat, on the way back. There's a few of us on the boat sharing it, so we uh, should be able to put in the car to be something too much. So I'm back to the side of the island that I need to be on. But I'm also just like in the middle of the sea. <laughs> this is as far as the boat could go because it's really shallow. Like knee deep. Lunch then exploring. Let's go. So that's lunch done. Had myself a smoothie bowl, it's just what I needed, loads of fruit, feeling good. Back down onto the beach where the boat dropped me off uh, about an hour ago now. It's only just around the corner and then I'm going to explore that stretch of beach, walk all the way down to one end where it like comes to a point and go around the corner and back up the other side. So let's go!
Okay, so this is exactly the place where the, the boat drops us off. And look at the tide. It's, it's miles away. The boat that dropped us off, he, that stopped in the middle of the sea, he's just there. Just parked on the sand. That went out really, really quick. Right, anyway, this is where I'm going, all the way down. Down there to the end. And it's like a point and I can come back round and come back up the other side. at the end point now, walk down that entire stretch that's behind me now. And I think when I get to this point I'm just going to be able to almost double back on myself and go up the other side. Let's see. Yeah, I think I should be able to get around. Got all the mountains over there, it looks amazing. Okay, so down this side is the pier where I originally got dropped off when I came from Kolipi. And also where I'll be getting the boat from tomorrow because I'm leaving this island and going to Koh Lanta for a few days. I'm almost at the end of the beach, so I think that's about it for today. This has been Koh Muk. And it's been lovely, but it's time to go on. Next up, Koh Lanta. See ya!